In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to quickly set up a fluid simulation using X-Particles 4.0. Let's get started. Hey everybody, it's Nick here from grayscalegorilla.com, bringing you the tools, training, and tutorials to help make you a better motion designer. Now today's video is all about how to do a quick fluid sim inside of X-Particles 4.0. Now, if you're learning more about X Particles, don't forget we have hours of training over on our website. I'm gonna link it here on YouTube and also down in the description below. All right, let's not wait any longer. Let's head on into Cinema 4D and let's make some fluid. All right, here we are in Cinema 4D and let's get started. Once you have X Particles 4 installed, you're gonna come up here to your X Particles menu and click on the XP system. Now, if we hit play, new in X Particles 4, we automatically have an XP emitter ready to go. Now, to add to these particles, we're gonna come up to XP system, come down into these generators and objects menus, and the first thing we're gonna grab is in the dynamics menu, and it's called the flip domain. Now what this does is it makes our particles behave more like fluid. You're gonna see when it hits the wall, it kinda spreads out and floats around, and we're missing one more piece to make this look a little extra realistic, and that is gravity. So to add gravity, come up to your XP system, come down to your motion modifiers, and click gravity. Now, once we have that, our particles are now splashing around in this object. Okay, now, what do we do next to start to put, put geometry in this scene to make this look more like fluid? Well, this is where the new mesher comes in, and you're gonna find that in XP system under generator objects. Now, once you click on generator objects, open the open VDB mesher. Now, this is the real magic. This is new in XP4, and if you're used to using the Skinner in previous versions of X-Particles, you're gonna love this mesher even more. It's way more robust. It looks way better in animation. So let me show you how to set it up, and also the few things to keep in mind to make sure that your liquid looks realistic. So the first thing we need to do is pull in your XP emitter into your sources, and bam, you have this mesh. Now, this isn't looking so great so far, but I'm gonna show you some ways to, to clean this up and to make this look more realistic. First thing we need are way more particles. Right now, we're only birthing a 1,000 particles a second, and X particles is great because we could crank this number way up. I'm gonna go to 40,000, right? X particles will spit these particles out, and now they're splashing around the floor, crawling up the walls, and let's pause it right about there and let's turn our mesher back on. Already you're seeing that it's way smoother, but there's still these little wrinkles and it's not quite there yet. So let's talk about the settings in the mesher that make the biggest difference with smoothing this out. The first one is called voxel size. Now you could turn this up and down and you're gonna see the bigger it is, kind of the smoother it is, but less detail. And the smaller, you get more detail, but it's not, uh, but it can get a little, um, uh, particle here. Now, the other thing that you're gonna work with is this point radius. As we turn up and down our point radius, you're gonna see the actual size of those spheres kind of crawl up and down. And again, these two work in tandem to give you more detail or less. We're also gonna turn off our emitter uh, just in the viewport by holding down option and clicking these little uh, traffic lights here. That's gonna turn off our particle so we could just see the mesh. Okay, that's a good amount of detail, but we're still getting all these little crawlies around here. How do we smooth it out? Well, this is where the filters come in handy. This menu right next to general says filters. It's in the mesher, and if you just turn it on, you're gonna see it immediately start to smooth out. And you can also stack these filters. In this case, I'm gonna get one of these Gaussian filters. Gaussian, Gaussian, Gaussian? Somebody uh, put that in the comments. Um, and I love this one because it really smooths out these particles. In fact, you can uh, come into this filter and double it as well. Now you can see already it's looking pretty good. If we double it to two, it's even smoother, but again, we're always sacrificing smoothness with detail. I think this looks pretty good at one. And uh, that is it, that's our system. So now if we go back, we can uh, hit play and see the particles come out and start to splash down, and you get much, much more realistic liquid. Now, other things to play with. This is kind of a quick tutorial to get you up and running and get you playing with this. 
Uh, if that's all you need, awesome. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see a couple more details, stick around here. Uh, up here in the XP domain, um, I want to show you how to make this system a little bit larger. Uh, you can make the 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 box here a little bit larger. That's going to give you more room to kind of splash around. You can also make it smaller if you want it to calculate a little bit quicker. Now, one more thing I wanted to show you, and that's collisions. With liquid, it's really easy to have this liquid kind of uh, collide and splash around. So I'm just gonna add a really simple sphere here, move it down in our fish tank. And all I have to do now is add a tag, go into your X particles tags and click XP Collider. Let's go ahead and hit play. And you're gonna see now this liquid is um, going over our sphere. It's a, it's a part of our system. And you can even go into your collider tag and turn down things like bounce and up things like friction to get these particles to kind of react differently to this object. In fact, now it's kind of slowly dripping down and you can get some really, really unique looks here with liquid, over text, over logos, flying all around. This is really, really powerful stuff. So I can't wait to see what you guys make with the new fluid system in X Particles 4. Thanks again for watching everybody. And don't forget, if you wanna learn more about X Particles, make sure you click the link here on YouTube or down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in another video really soon. Bye-bye everybody.